Have you ever wondered why sometimes the moon is full and sometimes it is just a crescent? We can see this in a moon box. A dark shoe box, a piece of plasticine, black or blue, a small styrofoam ball, a toothpick, a torch, a cutter. Take the shoe box and fold it again so that the dark part is inside. If you do not have a dark box, paint the inside of the box and the lid black or dark blue with poster paints or felt tips. Take the plasticine and poke a toothpick into it and then put it in the middle of the box. Ask an adult to help you to cut holes that can be closed again in the sides of the box with the help of a cutter. More precisely, you need to cut three holes on the larger sides and one in the middle of the shorter sides. All the holes must be at the same height as the moon, which you will position later. Take the ball and poke it on the toothpick. The ball will be your moon in the middle of the box. When you are finished, close the lid. Position the torch on one of the two holes in the middle of one of the short sides so that it lights up the moon in the box. Now look at the moon from all the holes in the box, one at a time, and you will see the various moon phases. Depending on which small peephole in the shoebox you use to look at the moon, you will note there are seven different situations. New moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, last quarter, waning crescent. In the new moon phase, the moon is positioned between the earth and the sun, and the sun's rays only illuminate the part of the moon that we cannot see. On the other hand, on full moon nights, the earth is between the sun and the moon. The phases of the moon describe the appearance of the moon as it can be seen during its revolution. The moon's appearance changes because of its different positions vis-à-vis -vis the sun and the earth. The moon phases are repeated with a 29.5 day interval and the months of our calendar are derived from this interval.